Hello and welcome back to Heavy Dice Podcast. Today we are playing our first Question Corporation game without Thomas Davis, but we have a better replacement, which is Mike Ovius. So uh, let's go through the cast of characters. Uh, Eric, what are you playing? Oh, just put me on the spot like that. Okay, uh, I'm playing Calwin. Uh, I am a reborn sorcerer. I was a human previously, but uh, the last time we played, I think in the grand finale, I got dead. And so now I'm some other sort of creature that I don't, don't really know, but I got some new feats, so I'll, I'll, I'll run with it. Fantastic. Uh, Sullivan. Hey, you know I'm carved a slash. I'm back in action, and you're never going to keep me down. <laughs> Matt. No problem. I think it's just your voice, as all your characters are. And Mike. Yeah, hey, I am a Valari Dragonborn Sorcerer, mostly because I clicked a bunch of buttons that looked appealing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. So uh, I'll give you guys, well, number one, I need to acknowledge that it is Eric's birthday today. It is the... 24th of December, so happy birthday. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm nice and old now. Very. <sighs> Christmas birthdays are always the best. Mm. Y except you don't get double the presents. Like, people think you do, but you, you really mm. don't. Joke's on you. I didn't get you any presents. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for Mike's edification, since he has not played a Question Corporation game, you are a bunch of investigators. You work out of uh, Waterdeep, out of a, uh, I forget the word, boudoir, I think is what it's called. It's basically an old butcher shop. It's uh, not perfectly cleaned. Your first adventure that you ever did together was uh, in, a, in a mansion. It was uh, Mordenkinen's mansion where you got stuck into some places and there was an A-team reference and you picked up some dolls and it was, it was basically Halloween. Then you were asked to get rid of some... Well, actually, you were asked to evaluate a house and you got rid of some witches and ghosts and, yes, uh, Calwin died and took over Cersei for a while and then... Um, was brought back to life as a slightly different creature than I think you were just human before or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. We also got rid of some priceless art from that building. Yeah. Yes. You got rid of the whole building. Now, now we didn't get rid of it. It was just reconfigured. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. It's still priceless art. You just have to glue it together. It's like Legos. <laughs> then the last adventure that you had, which was really just Bryzel, um, Calwin and carve you were asked to come to the city of Lopez because there's ghosts uh, screwing the city up and they needed great ghost hunters like yourself to come in and um, do what you do best which apparently is level a city to the ground <laughs> yeah that sounds right but yes, on your way you you were sidetracked three of you uh, Brazil Carve and Dathrin were sidetracked by a magic shop that just appeared out of nowhere. It's like a giant Costco, basically, with magic, magic items. There was like a wizard and a T-Rex or something that came into the city, I mean, into the uh, uh, magic shop and wrecked a bunch of havoc, and then you guys got away. So then you continued down the path towards the city of Lopez. As you approach the city of Lopez, Calwin and Valari appear out of thin air. Sort of like Mr. Bean. They just drop to the ground in front of your cart. What the fuck? <laughs> the horse stops and um, 
they clamor aboard the the beautifully painted cart that I think just says Ghost Hunters and then very, very small letters, Question Corporation Joint or something. I don't remember. Hmm. But you continue down the path towards the city of Lopez. It's a You're in a hilly area, and it flattens out to the city of Lopez. And I will bring us all to the city of Lopez. Here is the beautiful picture of the city of Lopez. It's not a huge city, but it's, it's you know, a little sprawling. It's not too small. So you arrive from that southern road and enter in the city. And you can see that there is a town square and you were told in the letter that that's where you will meet the mayor, Grover Stately. Mm-hmm. Can we really trust anybody with that kind of name? Like, I was concerned at Grover and then... Stately. S-T. Stately? Because he's very stately. Mm. It's just... Mm. We can spec him out before uh, deciding whether or not to trust him. All right. I don't know if you know me or not, but I'm like all about judging people. I'm on board you over. Catherine's easy going. <laughs> uh, Bryzel is in the cart, but he does not feel well. Something about that magic encounter has uh, messed with his sensibilities, and he's just laying in the cart. You guys can draw dicks on his face or whatever. The cart makes its way to the center of town and you see a somewhat plump man standing there with an Aarakocra next to him. And he waves you to stop. Do you stop? I mean, who's driving? I don't know who's controlling the cart. It's Brysel. No. <laughs> <laughs> the horse. The horse can do it on its own. Well, I mean... The horse did stop for us. That's so right. I guess. Well, he knows you. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to stop. Okay. He says, I ah, welcome. I am Grover Stately. I'm the one who sent you the letter. Question Corporation. I'm so glad you're here. <sighs> I would like to introduce to you uh, the Sheriff Sarah Sunblotter. And uh, the Aarakocra sort of bows. Its wings go out. And she says, <gasps> Very glad you're here. Hello. Uh, Yo. Uh, Hello. Yo. So, you... You you accept our terms then, yes? You have not said the terms whatsoever. The the terms were that you come and you you take care of our problem, and then you pay... Okay, that's not very descriptive. You understand that, right? Payment's negotiable. Take care of your problem. You want me to fix your teeth? Hey man, you can't you can't just insult someone's teeth you like that. You want me that. to make sure that your son is no longer depressed? <laughs> like what is what is the problem? You got specifics, okay? He puts his hand in front of his mouth as he continues to speak. Um, <laughs> it, well, I'm very concerned because many of our families have left due to the haunts, and and you were ghost hunters. Sounds like something we would do. Yeah, our sewer workers are refusing. To work in the sewers due to the haunts, and you can imagine what does that does to a sewer. Whoa, you guys have sewers? You're pretty advanced. Oh, thank you very much. We, apparently, we don't have dentists though. <laughs> um, and City Watch is constantly having to save people from situations like you know being locked in homes or poltergeisty activities. Great. And and you're sure this is a ghost and not just a person in a mask? Well, we are not ghost experts, so it's possible it could be a person in a mask. Do you have an estimate on the quantity of ghosts? Like, have there been multiple bad things occurring at the same time, or are they always one after another? Mm, A little of both, I believe, yes. Okay, so there's at least two ghosts. I mean, at least. uh, So, um, uh, let me let Sarah uh, explain more, because her voice hurts the DM's throat less. (laughs) <laughs> Sarah says, oh, yes, I, I really do believe that there are many ghosts. Um, we've been super busy with all the issues. Uh, I can't 
I don't know how fast ghosts travel, but we've had issues uh, in taverns and then in homes, and I don't know if they're sequential or if they're happening in parallel, but um, we've, we have like bar fights sometimes, um, especially over sewer issues, because uh, the workers are just refusing to enter in there. Um, there, was, uh, there was an unfortunate death in the sewers due to um, wh- what was described as a uh, floating skeleton. Um, and uh, oh. it is very bad. Um, you can meet the, uh, the, the uh, what is he, a widow, I don't know what you call a man who's lost his wife. Sad, the sad man, uh, he's <laughs> in the row houses. Okay, this is great, but first things first. Yeah. Do you have, like, a town historian or something who can tell us about the tragic event in this town's past that caused multiple deaths? No tragic event. No tragedy. We are not even built upon an old burial ground. How do you know that for certain? It's odd that you would just bring that up. Are these migratory ghosts? Are these ghosts that's passing through? Do you recognize these ghosts? Ghosts don't really pass through as far as I know. This could be the first instance. I mean, they pass through plenty of things. Well, they they only pass through, but they don't like pass through, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, if you think about it, ghosts are things that passed on. So they sort of always pass through. Mm, so he's got uh, what I'm saying there. is that they they're they're not known for their ability to transport themselves over long distances. Well, unless they're traveling with someone else, that that's a thing, right? I'm asking, even though I'm the ghost expert. Yes, or unless they're unless the thing that they're haunting is like a cart, or like an, another person. There's a lot of high-speed mm, cart accidents ooh. and a lot of a lot of trauma tied to carts. So these could be cart-based goats. We don't mm-hmm. we don't know yet. And I did say goats, not ghosts. <laughs> goats, yeah. <laughs> are these human so we're here goats? To exterminate some goats, right? You had a goat infestation. Wait, are we sure these are even like humanoid ghosts? Could these be goat ghosts? The greatest ghosts of all time. <laughs> They they very well could be <laughs> bulls because they wreck things like a bull in a china shop sometimes. Ah, look at him. He's got jokes. I, I didn't expect that from someone of your stature. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, stately, I am. Mm. Um, You asked about a historian. Well, uh, he left, uh, but you can go to the records room for sure. And you're welcome to, I mean, you probably need to talk to the people in town because they have more information than, than really we do. Um, is that right, Sarah? Uh, well, I mean, we've been just super busy. We haven't, we, we did go down into the sewers once, but we didn't see anything. Mm, I mean, are you suppo- expecting to see ghosts? Well, expecting to see, like, maybe the uh, results of ghosts. Uh, uh, um, you see, it's actually a common misconception. The majority of ghosts... Don't produce ectoplasm. Well, see, these are things that this is why your expertise is needed. We don't know this. Um, there, so, but I can tell you that I still have three guards that have stayed in the city with me. So there's four of us total. But, um, you know, I fly around and, and, and try to make sure that the streets are safe at night and during the day. And whenever somebody reports something, I mean, we just have to go there immediately. Could you, could you mark on this mm-hmm. piece of paper right here that resembles a map of your city that I totally just grabbed from... Oh, yeah, f- from, our, from our welcome center, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you, could you mark where you uh, have your four guards that we need to go see? Oh, they're, I mean, they're, they're probably walking through the town. Um, you s- you'll, you'll recognize them by the, by the city of Lopez badge that's on their... That's on their I'm pretty sure we'll recognize them because, as you said, they're the only people... Here. No, no, no. There's, there's some people still here. Oh, I misunderstood. It's okay. There are, um, so who? There, there's several people still left, but, but every day people are leaving. And in fact, as, as she says that, you see a cart going by with, with like a family in it. And she's like, there, there go. Fucking cowards! Oh, oh. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. easy. You're, you're very close. Their last name was Howards. That's the Howards. <laughs> the fucking Howards. But no, we still have like city workers, at least a couple, but they just don't go down there anymore. Sewer workers. A couple? How long have they been married? Uh, well, that's a sore subject because one of their people uh, 
the couples they were killed in the sewer. So we sh- shouldn't <coughs> joke about that. Too soon. Mm. Vladimir is still here, the the landlord of the row houses, and and actually, you know, um, quite prominent in town. He's he seems to be uh, stoic against these problems, um, but he may also just be you know wanting to keep people in residence. I'm not sure, but I mean, my initial thought mm-hmm. is that he's probably behind it because landlords are evil. That's a, that's a good point. My initial thought is that you guys could make shirts that say "Putting the Ghost in Ghost Town." Is that mm. something that interests you? Well, maybe. Maybe mm. I can sell it to the landlord. Yeah, yeah. I think we have a money-making proposition here. For sure. Uh, oh, oh, hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking we just need to go check out these four, go bust the guy that's inevitably wearing a mask because it's never actually a ghost, right? Right? It, it was literally a ghost last time. Yeah, it, it, eh, details. I, I, I think we need to go investigate. Wait, I want to go check out the, the history zone. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get that far, did 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 the agreement say how much we get? I'm pretty sure he said it was negotiable. I think we need to go on the upper end of that negotiation. Yeah, we're pretty good at um about halfway stealing, halfway negotiating from people, so we can figure it out. Okay, all right. So it's not, not, not high on the priority list, because, okay. So Grover Stately, the mayor, he gives you each temporary deputy badges... Ooh, yeah. He says, um, "You, you, you have carte blanche here. Um, when you figure out what's going on, um, and and or you eliminate what's going on, and and maybe make our home safe again, then you know, just come and tell us what the price is. Because at this point, you know, we're gonna be, we're gonna be poor. We're gonna be homeless uh, if you if something's not done." And Sarah says, "Yes, and if." If you need me, uh, and she hands you a whistle, she's like, "You can blow this whistle, and and I will I will come as quickly as I can from wherever I." I blow the whistle and watch <laughs> to see if she shivers. Uh, her feathers kind of bristle. She's like, "That's right, yes, it works, but you can't hear it, but I can hear it." Um, so uh, anyway, um, so the other guards, if you want to know their names. Uh, there is uh, Rotgern. I think I should be writing this, but I'm there not going is to. Unorin. And there is Zaziath. So <laughs> you'll see them walking around town. Oh, you know what's me, Zaziath. I think the, the, the fact that you had trouble pronouncing them means that you didn't make these up, and you should uh, definitely write those down for us. Maybe they'll be wearing name tags. That would be beneficial. They uh, they actually do under yeah. their badges. It says, uh, you know, officer, uh, the M gang. Uh, that's Zazia. <laughs> uh, and officer Silent Pride, which is you, Norin, and officer Bronson, who is Rotgern. Um, but anyway, they're around town, and the uh, the records building is is right here next to the town hall so if you want to go in there and and um study like nerds go ahead hey it's not nerds okay we're ghost hunters and we do our job properly I, i'm sorry i was i was just <sighs> being disrespectful it's fine it's toxic aerocrocaness i'm very sorry so if you don't need me right now uh i'm going to go and patrol the city and if you don't need me right now, I'm gonna go sit in my office. Clearly, two people doing equally important jobs in the city. Oh, thank you very much. It's uh, <laughs> pushing paper is very difficult. Paper is a push I also need to take a nap. Mm-hmm. Well, you go lay down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. We're gonna go find. You're gonna go find your buddies. And Sarah takes off. <laughs> like literally takes off. Yeah, she's yeah. an aerocockra, yeah. so she's got wings. Mm. She flies. I just didn't know if they were flightless or not. I'm... She's <laughs> yeah, no Yeah, she just kind of swings her arms. And runs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flying. I'm more of a uh, uh, ghost expert, not a bird expert. Humanoid yeah, bird that's nice. expert. Yeah. Where are you going first, guys? I'm going to the records yeah, office. Let's go. All right. You go into the records office, and it's um, it's fairly well maintained. It does look like whoever was in charge of it 
sort of left in a hurry because there's still some uh, documents that have apparently been checked out that, that were not put back away. The cart mm-hmm. that uh, is like the return stuff that they push around and, and refile is has a couple documents on it. And there's a cold cup of coffee on the table. Oh, they have coffee. You didn't well, say that very carb like. I would think they have coffee. A stewer system? A stewer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll library use to try and find information about past <laughs> library use. Yeah, uh, Sullivan is playing Call of Cthulhu. The rest <laughs> of us are playing yes. D&D. Uh-huh. That's what. That's why his character sheet is so crazy. That's why he has his face tentacles. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, you can roll investigation. Yeah. Research. Try and find ghost related things. Uh, not great. I only got a twelve. Yeah, so there's a really interesting organization in this place, and it's kind of somewhat confusing. It's more by dates than it is by subject matter. So you find a date that is, you know, fairly early in the uh, life of this town, and um, th- but there's no information about like. Basically, it's that uh, these people had left um, looking for, uh, you know, gold and um, riches, uh, and uh, they settled in this in this town and, and and basically didn't make it any further. There's nice water here, uh, a deep well, um, an aquifer if you prefer. A lighter. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's a. It's sometimes it's you know, there's months when it's light, and months when it's heavy. Mm. <laughs> sometimes the city's a bitch. It's a true frontier town. Like yes. Yeah, and it. Uh, that's what it was. And but now it's you know it's it's pretty grown up. It's definitely one of the larger towns that uh, you would expect to see out here. All right, this was a fucking bust. Do they have any books or records in, like, a glass case or any safes or, you know, anything kind of, any records that are separate from the usual kind of just pile of papers? Uh, well, no, really, uh, the way it is set up is there are shelves and there are, they're by year. And so there might be some scrolls way up top that, like, you open up and they're, you know, uh, city planning papers for sure there's like a map of the initial sewers in this year that you guys are in but they're very small so it's like a you know little well trying to stay away from the aquifer it's just you know boring Bryzel would love it here in fact if you were going to roll his sick ass in here maybe that's what he could do how about, how about a history check to see if we might, I might be able to narrow something uh, a time frame down that might be helpful sure. for us A 19? You're trying to narrow down the history of when people started leaving, or what? Uh, yeah, when they started leaving, so we might be able to hit, hit on something um, that seemed suspicious and might narrow, okay. narrow our search. Some sort of records. event that yeah. lined up with it. Okay, yeah. You sort of, like, look at the, the latest area. You can see that it's only been less than a year that these haunts have started. And with a 19, you sort of like delve earlier than that to try to see, is there something that uh, would have caused this? There was a, an incident where a gang came through here trying to pillage and plunder this town. But the sheriff and the guards seemed to have taken care of them and killed or imprisoned those ruffians. And then they were hauled off to Waterdeep to stand trial. Those that remain, that were alive. That's the best hint we have, but I don't know what unfinished business they would have to keep them here as ghosts. <laughs> Especially if a lot of them were also taken away. There's also been traveling circuses that have come through town. Oh, fucking clown ghosts! 
Oh, shit. We can hear them coming from their squeaky shoes, though. <laughs> um, is there anything... Uh, I guess I'll ask Philo since he's been studying Philo. the books. Uh, is there anything that... Valari is his name. Valari, sorry. You got Philo because his name is Philo in Roll20. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask Valari if there's anything in his books that he's come across that would hint at there being uh, a reason for someone to fake this. Like if there's some sort of uh, buried treasure in the area or some hidden... Mm. Uh, boon that people would be after or something that that would encourage a nefarious group to fake this. Yeah, there's nothing in the records that indicate that there's something of value other than the the city and the people in the city. So it's all the friends they made along the way. Right. That there's a giant diamond in the center of town. <laughs> got to. There's nothing like that. <laughs> Should we investigate more in here? Or move on? Or what if we talk to the guards and came back? They might help narrow yeah, I think talking to the guards. I'm okay with that, yeah. I mean, people in the town should have the most information. Mm-hmm. Who can we go intimidate? <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. So a couple hours, uh, you guys spent a couple hours in here, maybe two and a half, researching stuff, and you, you came away with you know a little bit of info, but nothing that breaks this case wide open, because that would be a super short episode. And you head out into the town, and the, and the first thing that you note is that the tavern slash inn that is in town is boarded up and closed. And as you're sort of looking at it, you see a Goliath come striding down the same road that the tavern is on. And he says, Oi! Who uh, hi? Who goes there? Yo, what's up? We're uh, the ghost hunters. Uh, what? You, you make ghosts? No, no, we remove them. No, 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 we hunt them. Sometimes we do. I mean, we may have <laughs> made ghosts before, but <laughs> ghosts are usually—they don't come up after every death, you know. They don't. No. Ah. They're specific circumstances. What what are these circumstances of what you speak? So, usually the main one is the ghost needs to have unfinished business that will play a pivotal role in their death. You say lots of words I don't know. The ghost wanted to do something, but it, it died instead. Ah, the ghost die, yes. I want to hit the ghost. It's going to be hard. It's, it's hard. Uh, last one I could no hit. All right, let's find a different guard. Are all ghosts like that? Are all ghosts hard to hit? <laughs> Almost all of them, yeah. Like 95%. Can you, can, can anyone hit ghosts? That's... Yeah, if your sword is made of silver, I think. Or just covered in silver. Well, my sword is, uh, has silver edge, not hit ghosts. No, no, it, your sword is probably made of steel. Just because it's shiny doesn't mean it's made of silver. Oh, I, I think you're having a conversation with someone you should just walk away from. Is that only is that only ghost werewolves that a silver blade would hit? <laughs> oh, maybe. I think silver is just generally useful against ookums and spookums. <laughs> what, what about magic weapons? Magic weapons hit ghosts? Usually, uh, I think so. I'm going to just kind of tug on Carve's shirt like we need to leave. My sword is magic sword. It not hit the ghosts I fight. Are you sure it's magical? I am Zazia. They call me, they call me Ghost Hunter. Why, why don't you Why don't you let me see it? Why don't you let me see that sword? Better not steal out. from I'll this guy. I'll let you know if it's magic or not. It's okay. He pulls this. It is a uh, long and very broad long sword because he's a Goliath. He's almost a giant. And he hands it to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does it look like I could? Is this look like something I could actually hold without? It's heavy, extreme strain. <laughs> <laughs> but he hands it to you. Uh, he holds onto the blade and hands it to you, hilt first. Oh well, at least he's decent. I'm 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 gonna look at it and and not really glean anything from this weapon. I'm just gonna look at it for a moment, and then I'm gonna look up at him and say, "Yep, that's a very nice magical sword." And I'm just gonna hand it back to him and say, well, we have to get out of here now. Okay, well, I I have to patrol city still. Oh, shit, he's patrolling? He's one of the he's one of the guys we're supposed to be talking to? 
Yeah, he's got a he's got a badge on. Yeah, did you not hear him introduce himself? The VM gang. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Can you really trust everybody? That moment when the Goliath is smarter than a party member, damn. <laughs> can you can you really trust all the Goliaths you come across? I mean, you can't trust all the anyone's you come across. I know, is this true? But you can definitely trust some of them. But how do you know if you can trust them? He's just standing there as you guys talk. Until after, you know, they give you a reason not to trust them? No? Okay, well, you guys continue then. I'm going to stand over here by myself. I stand by you. And I'm just going to walk away for a few. Oh, but bye. Oh, you need to keep patrolling, I think. I do need to keep pa- patrolling. Uh, quick, quick question, good sir. Would you happen to know how long ago the ghosts came around by chance? Uh, uh ghosts come around like uh, less than a uh, new moon ago. So is that? I think uh, you may say a uh, year. There were there were three seasons. That is not what a new moon is. Uh, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we not do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You think I mean moon and sky? I, I I meant the circus, new moon circus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did it happen right after they left? Uh, not right after they left, but okay. a little bit after they left. Yeah, things sort of happened. And, um, We're tossing around the idea of possibly it could be cloud ghosts. Uh, po- Does it ever po- happen po- before they get here? Does it? Uh, the, the, it so they never, haven't. They, so it, they they haven't gotten here since it happened. That that correct. Yes. Uh, we had the the circus came into town, and the, we had some bandits, and then um. We then we had haunts, and now we have haunts. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty much known for haunts. Uh, people are leaving because uh, some of the haunts uh, throw stuff. Uh, the row houses are, are really being affected, uh, and the sewers are the, the problem. But the, the this tavern here, the 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 inn slash tavern, it uh, uh, it. It it, 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 it it had a really bad incident. Um, I, I I could let you in if you needed to investigate, but there's a lot of damage. Uh, yes, please. Okay, he like beats the shit out of the door and it falls in. There you go. Uh, hopefully you you find what you need. Thank thank you, thank sirs. You, sir. uh, well, one one final question for you. Uh. What do the ghosts look like? They they're different. So, uh, they say in the sewers, the ghosts are uh, a light or a uh, a skeleton, floating skeleton. Apparently, someone's uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Lightfoot's uh wife. We shouldn't talk about it, but she got killed by the by the uh, skeleton. Um, uh, but then some of them, one of them looked kind of like a ball uh and then the one i tried to kill i could only see his hand and uh that was in the row houses and i swung at him hand and it missed well i didn't miss it went like right through him and then he gave me the finger and i was like that's kind of rude but i did try to kill you so mm, so do we want to go to the sewers or do no 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 we're gonna poke around the tavern. You should go inside before we go. Lightfoot, light, uh, Lightfoot's wife was killed. Where, where does he live? Yeah, Lightfoot's wife was killed. He, he, he lives in the row houses. But where the, does he live? The row houses or the houses. The, there's a couple people who still hanging on there, like they, they're, uh, what do you call stubborn? No, Mm-mm. determined. Yeah. So, so we've got a couple of places we can go. But I guess we should go into the uh, the tavern, and then we can go to either the row houses or the sewers. Or the sewers, yeah. I wouldn't go in the sewers at night, though. Uh, uh, but that's just me. You can go wherever you, whenever you want. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you go at night? Oh, because I'd be sleeping. Oh, getting off of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a that's a good point. Yeah. I thought you were going to say there was more activity. I was like, well, that would be the perfect time to go. But yeah, yeah you're right. We should, we should probably avoid that during, during nighttime. Oh, but if you're not Maybe we should go night. before lunch. Don't go right after lunch. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. 
could you on your patrol tell people to shit in the woods? That would be huge for us going Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Um, I will tell them shit, shit in the woods. Or, or in a bucket. You know, that Thank would work you. too. Shit in the woods, in, a, in the woods in a bucket. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be stepping in that later. That's, that's a good idea. Okay, so into the tavern. Uh, well, well, thank you, good sir. So I will, I will step over the threshold into the tavern. Is it cold in there? It's, it's not. I think it's spring right now or something. Oh, okay. It's, it's a little dark in there. Not like excessively dark, but the, the windows are all boarded up and stuff. So there's just a little bit of light streaming in. But you can tell that the place is wrecked. Like there was apparently a fire in the back that that seem to have spread a little bit onto the bar. And then there's tables and chairs just like thrown about. There's um, a knife embedded pretty high up in uh, one of the walls. Um, and the stairs uh, that lead up to obviously the in part of this place uh, are just like broken and and, and uh, battered. Well, I want to start poking around for any documents or human remains, you know, the usual ghost stuff. Okay. Um, so I guess that's uh, if you know what you're looking for, investigation, otherwise perception. Well, he said he's looking for ghost stuff. I think that's pretty pretty clear. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. That's a six. I don't know what yeah. that um, is. That, that's nothing. So you find, what you do find is um, under the bar, at the, in the back, under the bar, there is a, uh, it's basically a club, but uh, it has spikes in it, like uh, someone drove nails through it. And, uh, and uh, like burned into it, it says, the thirsty druid. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, look around the tavern, just that first main room, and see if there's anything that looks uh, especially out of place. Something that probably wouldn't have been at a tavern normally, uh, that sort of thing. Because uh, I know that you said this place is a mess, mm -hmm. so i just like to look for objects or signs of activity that shouldn't normally be in a tavern. Sure. Twelve. Everything to you looks like it belongs here. Just it sh okay. it should it it should be in a different place. Valari, you want to do anything? Uh, I think I want to check. Could there be uh, check the floors for mm. like a cellar door? Sure, there is a cellar door. You find it. It's uh, right uh, off the kitchen. Um, you open it up, and um, it's been untouched. Like it's it's nice. Um, there's not a lot of stuff in it, but um, it has not been destroyed. Uh, and there is still a very large uh, keg of ale that, um, you know, the owners must not have been able to take. Yeah. Untapped. It's in nothing particularly interesting. You find a pouch. Is it a large space down there? Pretty small? Just for a few... Yeah, uh, yeah like maybe some... Maybe some you know, root vegetables and stuff, some barrels and things that would hold some cooking things. And there's, you know, there's hooks to hold like probably meat or whatever. It's not, it's not tiny, but it's, it's not, it doesn't take up the whole, you know, bottom of the inn. I guess I'll go ahead and pick up the pouch and see if there's anything in it. Um, but I want to be careful though. So I'm, I want to open it, but I'm going to open it. Um, Facing carb. Towards... Um, you're gonna open what it facing that? carb. Is that right? Is that what I, heard? <laughs> I was gonna open it facing you. <laughs> you. I was gonna point it at your face. It's like, uh, let's see what's in here. Tell me what's in there. There's there's um, gold coins and there's a there's a note in there. All right. How much gold? That's always the important. Yeah, there's like a hundred gold. Whoa, that's pretty good. That seems like a lot. Gold. Yeah, throw away that note so you can see that. Gold <laughs> <laughs> and then let's unfurl the note and uh, maybe it's written in blood maybe not mm, it's not it's it's written in, in pen and it just says this is this is our last month's rent Vlad please take this we are That's leaving an insane rent payment hey maybe they're living in a mansion we don't know 
The landlord didn't receive it though, so someone has some unfinished business. No. <laughs> That this the, this, no, it's the landlord that is after his money. Pretty sure the landlord's still alive. Yeah, but he's still alive, so his, his business yeah. is unfinished, but not. Well, he, I mean, landlords <laughs> are pretty unfinished. I'm pretty sure landlords are, like, not legally allowed to be ghosts. They have to go straight to hell without passing go. <laughs> <laughs> Them and the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what? Well, no, nothing has pointed to the landlord so far. Also, is there any gold in that pouch, or any gold you want to share with the party? Or what was in there, Valari? Wait, what'd you say? Was there any gold in that pouch you wanted to share with the broader party <laughs> so we could add it to our character sheet? Or uh, no, I don't think I mentioned. That. <laughs> uh, oh, oh anyway. okay. <laughs> okay, big note. Okay, big note in that pouch. It was a very, very heavy note. Is is heavy, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Big clinky <laughs> note. It's written on a, a lead. Oh. <laughs> uh, that, that's linked together to make clinky noises as you move it around. Yep. Clink. Okay. Yep. Every paragraph. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, how about the bar? I think we probably need to investigate the bar a little bit more. Or is there an, a, an obvious office room? Yeah, there's a little office off the bar. Well, let's go poke around in the office and see if there um, might be anything in there. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's been pretty much cleared out. Cleared out? And yeah. Was there a fight in here? Could, you, could we tell? No, so it's it's also fairly undisturbed, other than, uh, you know, some of the drawers have been left open uh, as they probably just, like, pulled their shit out and left. Wow, they were... Does it look like they were in quite a hurry, or just they took everything and left probably in in a hurry you would it looks like uh you know it looks like someone has left in a hurry but um they were pretty thorough with what they took one thing i didn't note i don't know if at this point i might roll a, a check because it might be dried blood now but is there signs of blood you know all over the floors there there are some signs of red stains but it's hard for you to tell with a six if it was um, blood or a Merlot. <laughs> I'd like to reference back to the last episode, but we'll, we'll keep going. Hmm. And there's nothing else in here that would, that would give us a clue as to where we need to be going? Anything else pointing to the landlord? Mm, no. And that okay. doesn't really, I mean, point to the landlord. That's just apparently... They had their last rent, and they just they didn't take it to him. They just left it in the cellar. I guess assuming he was going to come in here and, you know, do whatever he does when tenants leave. Why? Yeah. Why? Why would you? Why would the? Why would the the landlord go to a cellar to pick up his rent? Mm -hmm. It's uh, maybe the only place that hasn't been totally wrecked. I think that there's just been a wild amount of foolishness and lack of common sense among these townsfolk. If you think about it, you probably went to the cellar because the landlord's always a buyer. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go talk to a smarter guard. Yeah, I think we're all out of puns. Yeah, I'm down for that. Go talk to a guard with, with smart. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, all those city cops that have PhDs, for sure. Let's go find them. Yeah. Well, you know, at least the ones that are not... There was nothing wrong with him. He was not very <laughs> useful to our cause, let's say that. Just because just because he has trouble speaking well and clearly, uh, uh, compared to normal standards. Yeah, well, it, it is pretty annoying because our goal is to get people to tell us things clearly and well. So <laughs> so you guys head out back into the city. Uh, you you look down the towards the west and you can see the back of the large Goliath as he's continuing to sort of, you know, patrol. He looks, he makes sure that uh, the buildings are not occupied if they're not supposed to be occupied. Uh, you guys go east, uh, east up the road there. This will say that's like you're here. And um, coming towards you is a Furbolg. Wow, a lot of big people in this town. Yep. He's also dressed like a city guard. Hmm. 
And if you squint and read his badge, it says Officer Silent Pride. Oh, he's going to be the one that doesn't talk. We should probably find someone else. We don't know that. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Oh, what? Like he talks a lot? Yeah. And he's like not gay either, so like it doesn't make any sense. Do you want to ask him if he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> I just, just, just an aside. Uh, I was in Walmart yesterday, and I heard a kid scream from across the store. It's a gay car. <laughs> I was like, like okay, yeah, good for that car. Mm -hmm. Were they pointing at your car? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This was Isn't inside the store. I'm pretty sure it was a toy. Yeah. yeah, you can cut that. It's fine. So anyway. <laughs> Well, you know how much I cut out of these episodes. <laughs> Nothing. You say you're going to cut something and then it makes it there anyway. Especially if I say I'm going to cut it and then you go, no, you won't. Then I have to leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, the trick is to do a callback. Because if you do a callback. Mm, yeah. Yeah. The, we'll see. Uh, if you cut it and then you do a callback, it's even better. <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about? We did have something like <laughs> that um, in the episode where, like, my mic stopped working. <laughs> uh, because... Um, Thomas said something about uh, a song that Griffith had sung, but <laughs> it wasn't in the episode at all. <laughs> anyway, uh, Officer Silent Pride continues to approach, and um, he he tips his hat to you. Yo, is it an ironic name, or do you actually not talk? No, oh, I talk all the time. I can talk whenever you want me to. Is it really good? I okay, it's ironic. You know, cool. It's pretty cool in here. So, uh, mm -hmm. we're the Ghost Hunters. You are Question Corporation, I understand. I saw your big uh, uh, vehicle in town, and you really be a pretty horse. And I went and I saw it, and then um, I had to walk up Main Street, and then I came down the street. Yeah. Great. So uh, this is going to be – this is perfect, I think. Okay. Well, uh, I think everything's perfect. I mean, the city's perfect. <laughs> is it? I thought it was really – Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty perfect. I thought there was some, some bad times going on. Ghost times. Oh, what are you talking about? The haunts? Yeah, the haunts. The ghosts? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Why Why can't the city just accept? Hey, we're a haunted city now. It seems cool. You know what? You're right. Let's just leave. Uh, I mean, I thought that they were doing bad things. I mean, aren't they causing trouble? Or is it just people don't like things floating around in their house, so they leave? I mean, one person definitely got killed by a skeleton. For sure. But do we know that they were killed by the skeleton, or is that just an excuse? Oh, oh, oh I, I think that's uh, proven. I think that the sewer workers that were down there with uh, Cora when she died, uh, I believe that, or Nora, whatever her name was, um, I believe that they, uh, uh, they, they specifically said that uh, there was a floating skeleton, and it uh, basically, you know, en engulfed her in its arms and took her away. Uh, and she was screaming, and it was really bad, and they and they left the sewer, and they said that they would never go back in the sewers again, which, uh, you know, Wait. what? So they don't have a body? No, we, so uh, we as guards, we were told to go down after them and look for it, but we never found it. That is awfully suspicious. Well, if they had a body, they could put the body to rest, which may help get rid of the ghost, so it actually makes a little bit of sense. Well, wait, but, 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 but. But, this, but the skeleton ghost thing was there before uh, Cora slash Nora died. Um, and uh, the, uh, so how, so why would she... She was a great person. Why would she haunt? But that's cool if she is. Because, hey, uh, 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 Dora, if, if, you're, if you're haunting the town, um, I, I'm cool with it. But you... you okay, so someone, someone write this down. We need to find the body that's in the sewer. I ain't writing shit down. When we get to that, yeah, I d I'm yeah. not either. I that's why I said it because I didn't want to accept responsibility when we forget that that's a detail. Uh, you have the best penmanship. You should definitely it. write it down. Can I? Yeah, my my pen is very clacky, and I get reprimanded when I use it. Oh yeah, that's your excuse. That's your excuse. But... <laughs> um, can I ask you, friendly neighborhood guard, was this woman ever seen talking to the landlord? <laughs> was Nora ever seen talking to the landlord? Vladimir? Yeah. Wait, wait, the landlord? Vladimir. Landlord? We're talking about Vladimir. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I Vladimir. Mean, uh, 
I mean, I haven't seen her talking to the landlord, but I mean, it's very possible that she did. I mean, the landlord, you know, uh, runs the row houses or owns the row houses or whatever you call that. And, and I'm sure that she's probably had to pay rent to him. And so maybe she said, you know, hi, how are you doing, Vlad? And he may have said like, you know, oh, pretty good, Nora. Uh, my, you know, my feet kind of hurt because I've been walking the city and, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm going to okay. go to the bar yeah. later. Do you want to uh-huh. go to the bar with uh-huh. me? Oh, the thirsty monk. Yeah. yeah, that sounds really good. That's exactly That's- what I'm asking because I want to know if the landlord's wearing a ghost mask and kidnapped her so they can run off and marry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Alternate question. Yes. Alternate question. What is your problem with real ghosts? Like, there can be real ghosts. Yeah, but they're not likely. It's more likely for there to be real ghosts than someone pretending to be a ghost. Are you sure? Yes. Huh. Okay. Well... That's a new theory. <laughs> let's just not let's just not give up on the idea of it being an old landlord wearing a mask. Also, is there only one landlord in this whole city? There's... I know that's what I was saying. There's some serious economic no. problems here. I mean, if you take a look at this map, right? As we know, the landlord was charging a hundred gold pieces, and I don't know if that was per month, per year. That's a lot of money, is all I'm saying. But look at all this space, all the space here, and here. And over here. Put, 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 put the map away. You could just put the put map new away. houses there, and the landlord doesn't own them. And then you don't have to pay him a hundred fucking yeah, gold. So, so not everybody um, in the city uh, owns their own houses or their own property. And and uh, Vladimir is uh, was uh, still is, I guess, uh, a very important person in the city. Uh, he had money to um, build uh, uh, places that, that for people to live. And um, he the, the, the thirsty whatever it was called, goat, monk, uh, uh, I think, because I've forgotten already, um, the uh, Thirsty Druid, Thirsty Druid, uh, the Thirsty Druid Inn, um, he, he, he built that, um, and so people, you know, uh, pay him rent for things, but not, but not every house here is, is, uh, you know, our tenants of the landlord, I mean, Vladimir's, um, I mean, he could probably buy them now, because a lot of them are empty, but, you know, what are you going to do? I don't know, it just seems like awfully expensive and awfully corrupt, you know, and like he owns the place and like he's monopolizing. I mean, I think that's what landlords do. Yeah, I I know, but like, it also seems like since it's such a small relative situation that like you could easily just get him out of here, you know? Does he ever rub his hands together or cackle? He rubs his hands together when it's cold. I've seen him do that, yes. Cackle? Uh, I have seen him chortle, but I've never seen him cackle. Ooh, that's pretty close to a cackle. It, it's, cl- it's close, but, you know, same family, but I think a different uh, different meaning behind it, maybe. Okay. He definitely, uh-huh. He's definitely upset that the Thirsty Druid is closed, though, because uh, he was in there a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He probably got free drinks, so I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, really? Who Who's the owner of the uh, tavern of the, of the that I can't remember the name of that you literally just said three seconds ago? The Thirsty Druid? Yes. Oh, that's, um, that that was uh, the uh, Smith Sayers, but they, they, they left. They, they, they left the city. Uh, they had a really bad situation in there. Um, like it, the, what, what, there was like ro- I don't know, like rolling the base and mess up the place kind of thing, you know. It was just, it was just crazy. There was, mm-hmm. there was, there were injuries. There was, um, like uh, chairs and tables being thrown by unseen forces, uh, according to. Mm-hmm. The, there was also, prior to that, th- this is, this might have been why they left anyway, because prior to that, you know, there was a big fight between the sewer workers and some of the people in the city. Uh, because the city started kind of smelling, and the sewer workers wouldn't mm. go down in the city in, in the sewer, and there was a big fight about like you know, oh, it's your job, it's not my job, I, I'm not gonna live now. And then they 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 uh, broke the stairs, and that really oh. that really upset the Smith Sayers. And um, yeah, I can see I can see why that yeah. breaking stairs that's a that's, that's a big deal. Yeah, well they broke them by throwing people down them. It was. It was. Oh well, see, that's, that's a little different. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think they also threw people up it's, them, but I didn't see that. Well, if you can't, you know, if your stairs aren't strong enough to support someone being thrown on them, I mean, are, can you really? Yeah, I mean, it's probably a, a hazard waiting to happen, right? Right. Yeah. 
Anyway, if you if you uh, if you're interested at all at the row houses, I can I can mark those on the map for you. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's definitely something we want to do. Yeah. So the row houses are right there, um, and I can also indicate on this map like uh, where residents are and where residents aren't. Um, oh, like oh, good, good. Yeah, let's let's, let's get that. That would be hugely beneficial. Great. So yeah, so uh, he marks them, and all the houses that are yellow here have nobody in them. And only the things that are brown have any sort of tenants anymore. Um, and the and the sewer and the sewer entrance um, is I can mark that for you too. If I can draw a circle. The sewer entrance is right there. So, yeah. So, you know, um, I I I I would say probably you want to go in the uh, sewers at night or uh, the row houses at night um, because usually at night. Is when the haunts happen. Uh, the row houses have had had a many many haunts, um, and um, uh, but but then I would probably assume that I don't know. I mean, are ghosts more active at night? They seem to be. Um, like the tavern situation happened uh, after nightfall, and um, yeah. Although also a lot of people leave in the dead of night too. I see that happens. Mm -hmm. Night might be the most active time. Anyway, uh, anything else you guys need from me? I'm sort of supposed to check on people. Okay. Well, yeah, you can go check on people. Yeah. Are you gay? Um, oh, don't do that. I am. I am pretty happy. Yes. Uh, I think it'd be really cool if we were like, you know, uh, Lopez, the city of ghosts. That might be kind of cool, right? Or Haunted Lopez in the Valley of the Forgotten. I gotta come up with something. I'll talk to my wife about it. What? Well, what if you if you really <laughs> wanted to attract people, you could just Lopez, the the gayest ghost city. That would be great. That'd be yeah. Yeah, your people are really pumped about how happy everyone is. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So what are we gonna do, boys and girls? I'll talk to Fred tonight, and we'll see what what he has to say. Perfect. Yeah. Can't wait to hear. Yeah, it's my it's uh. my wife, Fred. <laughs> ah, so many layers. Okay. He refuses to take my last name, though. He says that Silent Pride is not a great name, but his name is not much better. What's and it is name? Pride Silent. <laughs> I was hoping for something better, but okay, I'll take it. It's the best I could come up with. All right, well, um, good luck to you. Uh, please don't get rid of all the ghosts, because I think it might be cool. But if you get rid of all the ghosts, I understand. I mean, especially the ones that are violent ones, you should get rid of those. But if there's like a fun one, like, that's like you know, hey, I'm a ghost, wee, come take your picture with me, and um, that would be cool. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay. I mean, we're not, we're, we are ghost hunters, yeah, but yeah. if we can be in the middle, we'll, we'll do our Maybe you could be ghost wranglers at some time? Just like wranglers? That's, <gasps> ghost whisperers. We don't whisperers. have space on our cart to uh, <laughs> transcribe that. Ghost whisperers would be good too. You could just like say, hey, stop killing people. You know? Maybe that'd be good. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, nice to meet you all. Um, very, very. I uh, hope to see you around again. I'm sure I will, cause I patrol. I'll be patrolling for the next two hours, and then I'm gonna take a break, and then I'll be on the night shift. There's only, there's only three of us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start slowly walking away. Yep. <laughs> yep. So if you guys continue down the path, you can come to this crossroads here, and down to the east northeast there you see uh, another guard he's kind of short and stocky and he's he's sort of ambling towards the center of town do we want to talk to him or do we want or to, to, go to talk to him houses? or what what is it still day daylight yeah it's uh it's probably late afternoon at this point i mean it seems like we should we can talk to a guard we can go in the sewer or we can go talk to the landlord 
Those are kind of three big hints. I mean, I want to eventually get to the sewer and eventually get to the landlord. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> eventually you would like to see all of the things is what you're telling us. Okay. Yes. I, I think the sewer is going to give us a lot just because of the unrecovered body. I feel like that's kind of a big thing. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe we'll just go down there and find a half decomposed body, but you know, maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe we can poke it. We take some sticks for this. So if we find some bodies, that... we can poke them. Oh, yeah. Definitely. The city guard continues to approach. <laughs> See if he has some sticks. We should go talk to him. <laughs> He has a long, full beard. Clearly, he's a dwarf. Hey, dwarf, you got some sticks? <laughs> What's that? Sticks. We need some sticks. Poking bodies. We're looking for ghosts. Are you serious right now? There's literally, like, woods all around. Yeah, I don't want to go collect them myself. That's why I'm asking if you've got some. We told people to. People are gonna be shitting in those woods too. So <laughs> yeah, there's a certain grade of stick you're supposed to have if you're gonna be poking bodies. Like you, you don't, you don't just grab any random stick. A body poke, body poking stick. Anyway, you're the Question Corporation, huh? Yeah. I'm Rocker and Bronze Bottom, son. Yeah, you got any uh, hot tips and info that we haven't heard yet? Well. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you've heard. So how the fuck do I know if I have any? information you don't already know. I mean, this bullshit. Fucking tired of it. Uh, you know, there used to be 12 of us. Now we all pull double shifts. I mean, I, I should just go back home and work the mines. It's safer and, and the hours are better. Sure, you get black lung, but who cares? You know what? You know what? You should. You should. I'm thinking about it, except Rise up. if I go, then there's only two guards plus you know, Sarah and Ad kind of, I mean, they're my buddies, so, but shit, I tell you, I, I don't like this, this, the haunting and, and, and everybody leaving, I mean, the damn bar's closed, I can't even get a good ale, not that they had good ale, but you know what I mean, so I don't know what you guys have heard. A lot, we've heard a lot of things about things that don't matter to this investigation, mostly, uh, Hmm. But yeah, that's uh We were we were told that uh I don't remember. I'm not taking notes. Someone's <laughs> supposed to be taking notes. I've mentioned it a couple of times. i it's not me. No one's no one's taking notes. No one needs to take notes, okay? We didn't take notes last time. We don't need to take notes this we're time. We're just gonna hope everyone has name tags on. All I know is that I want to end up in the sewers at some point to find a body. That was not recovered. I can open the sewers for you if you want. I can get it open. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can do the sewers, okay? Whoa. This guy's just really Whoa. annoying and Whoa. bad at his job. So. I really appreciate everything you do. Oof. I'm very yes. good at my job. In fact, I was the one that found the bodies. Wait, bodies? What bodies? Yeah, there have been, there've been deaths Wait, throughout the town. Okay, but what about the body in the sewer? Well, yeah, I went down there and looked and... uh didn't see it. I, I saw I saw a floating, two floating skeletons, but I didn't see no uh, body. So about the other bodies. Yeah. Um, so who, who do you know who or how they died? Well, uh, I think they were natural causes because uh, John carried in his uh, head was cut off. I don't think you can live without a head, so I uh, say that's probably mm, natural. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you, yeah, yeah, the the others were uh, killed by objects de art. What? what? Uh, they had objects flying around because of a poltergeist. Right. Exactly. That's what that's what we believe. Uh, <clears throat> we we did um, CSI mm -hmm. investigation. Which for? Uh, come and see this shit. I don't know, <laughs> investigation. That is not, that does not make any sense. The education system in this town may not be the best. I mean, but if you can unlock the sewers, uh, or at least no, give us the it, key. 
CSI stands for Crazy Spookums Investigation. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I, all I'm saying is we investigated the crime scenes and uh, and cause of death, we believe, from the uh, art objects uh, being hurled at them when there's nobody else in the house seems, uh, as you say, spookums uh, violent stuff. And, and the thing is, is that, like, you know, we've had the haunts for a while, but just recently they've really become violent, uh, which, which is weird. Um, remember, do you remember the first violent haunt? The first violent haunt, I, I mean, I, I, I gotta say was, was probably Sarah. Oh, I'm sorry, not Sarah. Nora. I don't remember. Does anybody know anybody's name? Being being killed. So, uh, what happened in the days and weeks before? Anything notable? Uh, well, I mean, if I think back, you know, uh, we had New Moon in town. They were, uh, they did a lot of good performance. They, you know, some very creepy clowns, uh, but. You know, is it actually clown ghosts? If it's actually clown ghosts, I'm gonna be so surprised. And uh, well, I mean, the 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 ghosts that <clears throat> I've seen and that others have uh, described do not sound like clowns. Not not at all. Uh, now I don't know what they fully look like because a lot of times you only see part of them, right? Because uh, I you know I think that ghosts are uh, incorporeal. And so there's times when you can just see right through them uh, and they can make, you know, maybe they like they stick their head out or something. But so far, none have been clowns, which is good because clowns are creepy as hell. But uh, we also had uh, some bandits uh, that came through town. And uh, unfortunately, we had to uh, take the lives of some of them. And it was shortly after that that uh, we started uh, experiencing haunts. Uh, and then Nora was killed and uh the haunts seem to increase all right so yeah i want to know if anything ha happened so I, kn I know that like about a year ago yeah the traveling circus right in the bandits right but then much more recently yeah immediately before nora's death did anything happen notable I mean, no, I mean, we just had the normal uh, haunts going on, you know, here and there. Uh, someone yeah. might see uh, a ghost walking through the city. Uh, but we did have, uh, we did have, okay, we had an incident. Uh, maybe two weeks before Nora died. Nora was mm. murdered, I should say. A sewer worker came up from the sewers and said that, uh, uh, have you ever had an earworm? It's like a song oh, yeah, you can't yeah, get yeah. out of your I head. Thought you meant, I thought you meant like a literal earworm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah. you We're meant on the, the same literal page, creature, Clark. the earworm. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, like he, there was a, there was a familiar song in his head that he couldn't place what it was. And, uh, it drove him mad. And, uh, he, he, started a fight in the uh, Thirsty Druid with, uh, with with just like, you know, some people. And uh, he actually he actually injured Vladimir uh, in that scuffle. And, uh, and and then he just like left. Like no no notice. His wife didn't know where he was. His his kids don't know where his dad is. No, he, didn't, he didn't even go down like to the corner store. He just mm. left. Uh, so that was all right. That this was has weird. been super helpful. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, sure. Well, I hope that helps. I, I mean, I don't, uh, I don't know why. You know what that would mean, but um, I'm gonna, if you allow me, I'm gonna try and roll to determine if I know about any maddening songs or things like that. What are you going to roll? I don't know. History? Uh, okay. Sure. sure. Religion? Arcana? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think you can. Um, I think you can roll uh, something like that. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe history or or. I mean, I don't know. Just anything you really want. What whatever you think. Whatever you do best at. Seventeen, for any of them. They're all the same stat. Seventeen. So, you have heard maybe of people getting an earworm and uh, it it making their behavior different than maybe what it was before. But uh, but those are always uh, from like some sort of a, a possession, specifically. Uh, music reminds you of maybe like a a ostinato, which is a, a what an ostinato, which is a like a little aberration. It uh, ah. it will it will possess a a, a person, um, and uh, I mean sometimes it it you know might make them seem to go mad, but but no one's ever been violent, uh, at least in the history of you what you know. All right, guys, I think we've got. And Austin Powers mm. on our hand. <laughs> he, he's some kind of spooky creature that will possess you and ha- get a song stuck in your head. And that changes your behavior. So I think at this point, we should maybe check out the sewers. Do, do we need to wear earplugs? Well, no, because he'll go into your soul, and I think he'll just transmit it directly into your brain. So... So, like, maybe a tinfoil hat would be better. Okay, uh, yeah, there we go, there we go. So, I heard you say, uh, ostinato. Ah, that's kind of interesting, because, uh, that's kind of interesting, because the, uh, the new moon, full of performances of, of songs that are quite catchy, uh, and I know that uh, I, I know that ostinatos are, are products of performances. That oh, they're like the physical manifestation of a catchy tune. Yeah. That that would be very interesting if if that played a part in this. But you know, they're not haunts, though. But hmm. Hmm. Yeah, keep your keep your uh, heads about you. Get wits about you if you hear catchy tunes. Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty certain that the traveling circus is directly involved. Hmm. That would that would be bad. They they're here every year. They're 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 gonna be here in yeah, several they're like weeks. The, they're like the grim. Oh, they're gonna be here soon. Ah, uh, several weeks. Uh, well, several weeks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hope it's not them. They're well, maybe really like fun. they had a stowaway, like a spooky mm, stowaway. Yeah, uh, I mean, they have massive amounts of, uh, you know, it's like a caravan, if you will. So uh, it's very possible someone could have been hiding in the wheel spokes or something. I have, yeah. Damn. Damn. So uh, what's our move? Mm. I think we have to go into the sewer. Mm. Okay, let's do it then. Have you guys learned about the uh, issues in the row houses? All the, all the terrible stuff happening there. I mean, like the rent prices. Uh, I mean, because <laughs> that's that's extortion of the poor. Yeah. Uh, you may want to go talk to them too. Uh, there are still some holdouts, um, but uh, and and uh, uh, Nora's husband is still there. He he doesn't want to leave. He he believes that. Uh, well, we've we've talked, and he knows that he knew that you guys were coming, and he was really hoping that you guys solved this issue and he could stay. But let me ask you this before we go talk to Nora's husband. Yeah, were they happily married? Oh, extremely. They were the they were like you know two peas in a pod, if you will. Like they you know, uh, there we we have. Well, we had, I should say, uh, a fairly eclectic uh, group of, of of races here in the city. Um, 
but uh, very, very few halflings. Uh, Pedgrin and Nora were, uh, you know, really two of the outstanding people in town, uh, even with their stature being shorter than mine. And they both were fantastic sewer workers. Uh, but when Nora was killed, uh, I mean, Pedgrin is... He's very depressed. Understood. But no, they were they were happily married. There's there was no reason for them not to be. He was a caring husband. Some say that he was an adventurer before coming here, but I don't know if that's true. You hear a lot of that, you know, over hills and under hills and furry feats. But uh no, they were they were they were great together. I miss her. I miss him. I miss him being happy in town and he just stays in this house now. Well, if you could just mark on this little handy dandy map of the city where his house he, is. He's in the row house. We already know where it is. Yeah. Yeah, but there's so it's many here. In the row houses. Yeah, it's probably so a little brown one there, there at the bottom all by itself. I'm pretty sure the DM has a close-up map for you to walk around the town. So, uh, okay. Let's get going. Yeah, let's go talk to let's go talk to his husband. Unless there's anything else. The row houses are fairly decent-looking houses. They, it seems like the upkeep maybe has fallen behind a little bit, but that may be more to the fact that you know that. Many people in town have left, so um, you can assume that maybe some uh, construction workers and, and maintenance people are no longer here. But um, but these are the row houses. Do we know which one belongs to Pedgrin? Were we given uh, specific enough directions, or do we have to poke through? I mean, you know that it's in the his house uh, from the map out there is 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 south of where you currently are you know that much um and he's you know one of the only roofs that were that were that the guy colored in for you all right so you assume if you're going to go see uh pedrin lightfoot he is south uh in the southern row houses if uh otherwise you can just you're welcome to knock on anybody's door we should probably go down first Knock, knock, knock. So, uh, at the door that you're at, Dethryn, nobody answers. Do you want to open the door? I want to just see if it's unlocked. Yeah, it's unlocked. All right. Then I'm going to open it a crack and go, anybody home? So you open up the door, and there is a large table with chairs around it. And uh, it doesn't appear to be anybody in there. No one calls back to nope. me. Time to just walk on in like the old place. We're investigating. There's no one here. We need to come in and search for clues. We don't know this is his house. There's another house to the south. Uh, but just because we're looking for him doesn't mean we can't stop and rummage through someone else's stuff. Okay, well, that is fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about stealing from the poor. They're paying 100 gold a month. These people are not poor. <laughs> <laughs> they are now. That was a tavern, though. I love that you guys uh, a think it's a hundred <laughs> gold a month, and b you think that everything costs the same. Also, the fact that a tavern's rent would be the same as right rent exactly is crazy. Yeah. yeah. So like all rent everywhere, one yes, hundred gold per month. Accurate. Obviously. Yeah, I love it. Um, I mean, this is a big house, though. So they're not, they're not too poor. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I guess lead the way with your, uh, your poking around. Oh, we're actually doing it. I was just trying to stir up shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, now I don't know if we're doing it or not. The, the problem, Calvin, is that you've got two rogues <laughs> in the party. <laughs> Doesn't take much to get them to just go and wreck. Um, okay, and I, I think we just need to keep searching, um, go door to door, and find who we're looking for. Yeah, the 
the actual the next door down, <coughs> there is a uh, a name on it, and it says the Lightfoots. That sounds like a halfling name to me. I mean that that is the name we're looking for. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So you knock on this door, <laughs> and in a in a minute, uh, the door opens, and there's a halfling. With a, uh, I'm, oh, another callback. With a dour face. And he says, yes, can I help you? Uh, I, I nudge Carve. Yo, we're the Ghost Hunters, the Quest Incorporation. I'm Carve. Oh. Uh, and we're just here to ask you a couple of questions, if you're if you're down for it, about what you know of the, the hauntings. Sh- sure, yeah, yeah. C- come in. I'm, I'm very happy that you are, that you're here. Uh, maybe you'll solve this. Uh, would you, would you like some tea? I can, I can make. So I can put a pot on. Uh, sh- sure. Uh, I'm 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 Pedgrin Lightfoot. Um, and and you and your names are. Well, I'm Carve. Uh, hi, Carve. This is Calwin. Hi, Calwin. That's hey. Dathrin. Hi, Dathrin. Hello. And I've never <laughs> met this man in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Valari. Hi, Valari. Um, well, let me just let me just go uh, put some tea on, and he he goes into the kitchen, and then he comes back and he says, "It'll, it'll take a it'll take a three minutes or so for that for that uh, water to boil." Um, uh, oh, well, I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, it's actually the first time that I that I felt hope in a while. How can I help you? Why was your wife in the sewers? Oh, wow. <laughs> just just <laughs> going straight worker. into it. She's a sewer <laughs> worker. Jeez. My wife and I were both sewer workers. Were? Um, she you, you, worked. Um, yeah, specifically I mean, you. I guess were. I. You don't do that anymore? I, I, can't, I, I can't bring myself to go down there. Um, it's not out of fear. I'm a. If it is fear, it's that I will see my some terrible uh, destruction to my wife's body. So yeah, I, I would say was I. I definitely don't do do any work anymore. I've I've been careful to to save. As you can see, it's tastefully decorated in here it's, there's nothing elaborate it's not i'm not like the smalls uh although i mean they were they were great people they they had they they invested in a very large table so that we could all sort of have parties and stuff at their house but they were they really liked to show off um i'm not like that so yeah i have a little bit of coin put away <sighs> how much is that <laughs> rent <laughs> My rent per month? Yeah. Or do you own? Well, Vlad just raised it to, to to three gold, which is crazy for the size of this place. I mean, this is like like maybe fifty by twenty five. Like it's it's not a huge place. Wait, so he just raised it, even though the value of the land has gone down because of the hauntings? Yeah, I, I don't... He's... Yeah, Sounds I mean, kind of fucked up. Yeah, I, I, I don't really trust Vlad. Um, you know there's just abandoned homes you can move into. Why is he raising them? Everyone's leaving. Oh, yeah, well, he seems pretty unconcerned that people are leaving. Maybe he's charging the ghosts to live here. Maybe, I mean... I think he's got something to do with the ghost because uh, I've seen him, I've seen him hanging around here some nights uh, when 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 hauntings have have run people off and I don't know, I, I don't really know. He's also, well, I I don't. It's not it's not polite to talk about people behind their back. Um, let me let me let me go get that that tea. He walks into the kitchen and comes back with, with a pot of tea and cups and a um, couple uh, infusers. He said, "Yeah, I don't know. It's 
I don't know what's going on, but I don't trust him, and I have I don't really trust Missy very much either. Okay. They seem, they seem to they seem to talk in whispers. Maybe he's maybe they're lovers or something. Maybe it's that, but I shouldn't I really shouldn't talk about people that I don't know. Well, we're considering that the uh, traveling circus that comes through here the new moon might have something to do with the uh, hauntings. Do you have hmm. any information about them that anything odd or strange that they do, especially on their most recent visit? Uh, well, I mean, they 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 always do some odd things. They 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 swallow swords, which seems unhealthy. Um, yeah, they don't they, actually swallow them. It, it's a collapsing sword. Really? Yeah. Oh, I would have never thought of that. Um, some of them eat fire. They're tiny. Stuff. Is that a collapsing fire? Are you going to tell me? No, actually, a, a lot of people can, can legitimately eat fire. Okay. I assume your Valari friend can breathe some sort of weapon. If for enough gold, I'll do tricks. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of anything off. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't really big into them. Uh, they, uh, they were kind of noisy and, and Nora and I just, I mean, we kind of like our peace. Uh, we liked our peace. Uh, st- still think she's here. Um, so no, I mean, just, they have creepy clowns. Is that something? I don't Maybe. And what about the bandit attack shortly after? Oh, Jesus. That was a terrible mess. There was there was actually blood in the streets. I had to, like, you know... See, that seems like a, a ghost spawning activity to me. Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, they, they, it was terrible. Like, we, we, were, we were pushing blood through the sewers for, I feel like, hours. Did any of the bandits say anything? I have to finish this quest. It's all that I live for. Or the, man, I sure did sign this contract. And if I die, I'll definitely still stick around. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think pointedly is that. But they they were some bad guys. Like there was a there was a a, a, a wizard of sorts or a sorcerer of sorts with them. Uh, there were some some you know l- like bad rogues not like not like the rogues that do it for a reason um that do it for a a better purpose i mean no we understand I, mean, I, could, I guess it could come clean i i've spent some time as a as a as a as a burglar myself but always for the good you know um, that's that's kind of where my coffers come from. Honestly, I think we're all on the same page that the real theft here is from the landlord. He cannot be trusted. He's the the him raising prices and not caring that people are leaving is is unacceptable. He clearly wants us out, but I don't know why. Um, I I'm not gonna oh, leave. Maybe and he's I, got some kind of necromantic ritual scheming. Hmm. He, and he's like, he needs it to be empty or something. He's a skeevy looking man. I mean, he looks like a magician, if you know what I mean. Like, he's got handlebar yeah, mustache. I do know what you mean. Okay. He always kind of does, like, his movements with his hands are very, you know. Yeah, you remember yeah. that episode of the IT crowd? Yes, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But that's really all the info I have. I mean, I can. I don't. No, I'm not even going to offer that. I was going to say I could show you the sewers, but I really don't want to go down there. Nah, nah, we'll go down there ourselves later. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you if you needed a guide, I I could do it, I guess, but... Nah, we won't make you do that. I, I really appreciate that, Garb. That's very caring. So, anyway, there's there's others here still that haven't left the row houses. Um, the, the row houses next to us, next to me here, to the 
to the west, they're completely gone. Um, the Crims left, the Tallies left, uh, the Tapper Toms, uh, they left. It was sad. Eliza and Ruby, they were, they were a fantastic couple. They, 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 they brought joy to us uh, before, before all this happened. And now, um, I mean, I've. I've, I've probably spent most of my time in this house or <sighs> crying on Trixie's shoulder, so that's... I'm just going to slowly make my way to the door, quietly, just... You may want to talk to Grace uh, Bronzer. She's a... She's an old... Uh, old, old cleric. Uh, yeah, she's I'm going to disengage as well so I don't take an attack of opportunity. I'm going to make my way to the door. (laughs) Well, I appreciate you guys coming by. If you... You should talk to a fantasy therapist about this. I've talked to Grace some, but um, really, uh, it's Trixie that that seems to help me the most. Tells me to forget. Well, forgetting is not not the point. Because, like, you can honor these people by letting their memories live on. I just wish I had her body. If I had her body, we could we could give it a proper burial. And I'm just going to go ahead and update our quest log that we need to recover the body. A part of her body. A part of her body. Uh, her necklace, even. That would, her boot. Like, I, it doesn't... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I had alcohol. Right, so I'm just going to step outside. <laughs> let's uh let's just move on all right where next we should go find grace maybe she's got something to tell us okay yeah so grace is up here we told you grace is in this place if you can see where i'm pinging it's north of you guys straight north it is not the it's not this room yeah i see it. it's the room above it Her door is open, and she's like, "Oh, how could I help you? Come on in. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I would stand, but my bones are hurting." And then she touches herself. She's like, "Oh, I'm fine. C- come in, please, please, come in. Um, who, 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 who are you, and do you need some help?" Hello. Well, we're the Question Corporation, some uh, <gasps> ghost investigators yes. and hunters that have come here to deal with your spookums and ookums. Nice, yes, Pe- Pedrin is, uh, was waiting with bated breath for you to come. It's, I'm glad yeah. you're here. Yeah. Well, we just talked to uh, El Depresso. Yes, and, uh, it's sad. Yeah. Anyway, uh... He said we should talk to you because you're like super cool and know what's up. Well, I appreciate that. That's nice of him to say. I I wouldn't say I'm cool. I'm I'm an I'm an old old dragonborn just uh, just trying to keep these people who are staying safe and healthy. There's there've been some violence of late, and I've had to cast some healing now and again. Um. But I don't. Speaking of people yes. who are staying, yes. How much is your rent? Taking a survey, <laughs> an anonymous survey. <laughs> well, my rent um, has just gone up to two gold pieces per month. Discrepancy, guys. I don't know. Um, I think I think Vlad is uh, trying to make up for the lost. Uh, Renters, maybe. Um, uh, it's not really fair, but um, you know, I'm not going to leave until until these people or my fellow tenants have either left or or we know they're safe from these violent haunts that have happened of late. Uh, 
originally there we had some hauntings that were not a big deal but lately they've turned violent and i've had to heal many minor cuts and bruises and i'm uh, very confused because your living space is about 2000 square feet and it costs 2 gold whereas it's not 2000 the other guy's feet. living space or the other guy's living space was about 1600 square feet and it costs oh, 3 gold these are much larger the, the, your measurements are off. My, yes, my house is forty-five by forty-five. Um, yeah, square. Yeah, so but that's square huge. Feet, times forty-five by that's forty-five. Huge. That's huge. Yeah, it's huge. Well, yeah, but it's one space. It's a, it's a. Can't put I up. Don't know. Yeah, you can like, put in a put divider some, if you wanted up. to. Yeah, but then that I, I really like the feng shui of this. Some drapes in here would really help. Tether. Like it's very bare bones. Thank you. I have apples in the corner. Like you don't even have a bed. Oh, I do. That's that's this right here. It's a. Oh, it's the a, the wooden planks. You should really get a mattress on there or some hay or something. <laughs> no, no, I don't need that. I I lived in a sanctuary for so long, and um, it reminds me of when I was a young girl, learning her God's ways. Okay, but like. Your god would probably be chill if you were like, took a little bit of you time. You know what I mean? Treat I, yourself. I can always heal myself. That is such a bad mentality to have. Okay. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, what what do you want to know? Do you want to know about these weird hauntings that have happened of late, in these row houses, or what? Sure. That. <sighs> they seem unnatural. Almost if if as if. They're not on the same plane as most ghosts would be. I have a little bit of magic from my god. And the hauntings here seem very unnatural. Do you think that someone is causing the haunts to, to take place intentionally? I would hope that no one would, but they seem very pointed. We have a lot of residents who have left, and... Those buildings do not appear to be disturbed anymore. It's only ours, and, and my house has not been haunted at all. Have you ever sanctified this ground? So I did try to sanctify houses, which is why I'm saying that it's somewhat unnatural, because unless these are not evil ghosts, why are they causing evil deeds, right? Poor Gerald. Shimshorn, I, I sanctified his very large home, and he and Wendy both were attacked by a ghost. That's not natural. They should not be able to pass through a sanctified area. It's very strange. It's almost like they aren't so, huh. real ghosts. Yes. Almost like it's some kind of a landlord wearing a mask. Hmm. I mean, we might be that might be surprisingly co close to what it is, but instead of wearing a mask, it's like summoning, you know, half ghosts or something along those lines. But clearly, there is reports of ghost ghostly behavior. You know, incorporeal spirits, poltergeists, and you can't just be in a, wearing a mask to do that. Right. I don't know if. If you guys are going to hang around at night here, I'm sure that you could stay in any of the empty houses, but I need to go and check on Emma Wynn here in a little bit. Uh, just want to make sure that she's safe. She's all alone. Her parents left, and she decided to stay behind because of her her best friend, Trisha Brightstar. And so I just want to check on her. Uh, anything else that I can do to help you? And and I'm and I'll be here if you see me around and you need me. Just, I mean, I can, I can cure wounds. I can, I can do a lot. What I can't do though, unfortunately, is, is cure depression. Mm. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> well. So, do you want to hang around here till night, or are you going to keep mm, talking to really, people? I don't know if we have anything else really to do. 
Yeah, I'm kind of feeling those sewers. Everybody here has a story to tell. Do we really want to, though? Do we want to listen? It's up to you. Yeah, but I don't really want to hear everybody's stupid fucking story. And that's where we'll end. <laughs> <laughs> Just before nightfall, Question Corporation descends into the sewers. The entrance to the sewers is brightly lit by two torches and sconces on either side of a very nice platform. The smell coming from the sewers is not completely unpleasant, most likely due to the fact that most of the townsfolk are not here. And the ones that are <laughs> shitting in buckets in the woods. That was a quick turnaround. I'm surprised he uh, managed to get everybody to do, to do that. Uh, there's only there's like a dozen people in town. It's not hard <laughs> to tell them all. You hear the sound echoing. A plop? From far. <laughs> <laughs> down the line. my fingers in my ears immediately and I and I plug my nose and my mouth I don't want any way for this to get into my head you start hearing pumpkin hill do 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 do